Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over Potato. This is Egypt Pre-Dynastic. And this is kind of a really, really interesting board game that uh, that makes you play as Egypt through the very, very uh, early early days of the country, actually, before it even existed. And it's it's kind of board gamey in its uh, in its execution. I really like it. I played through the tutorial. I know roughly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna turn the volume down just a little bit here, because otherwise it's gonna be too loud. Anyway, let's start a brand new game. Uh, we're gonna play on all of the basic settings because I'm a basic bitch. I'm a, I'm a beginner. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test things uh, too too much. I think. But hey ho, let me just go over what we've got. We've got growth plus thirty percent, cost of workers and buildings minus ten percent, a lot of resources on the map, and good events happen more often than bad. Enemy armies is 20% weaker. That should be enemy enemy armies are 20% weaker, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, this game released uh, in October of 2016, and I'm pretty certain that it recently had to undergo a name change, probably because of the massively successful Civilization franchise. Uh, so it used to be called Egypt Pre-Civilization, and now it's called Egypt Pre-Dynastic. So don't quote me on that one, but I'm 90% sure it's because of the influence of uh, of the Civilization franchise. Anyway, this is the game. Uh, we have a mission, colonization. Uh, we came from a large tribe that suffered from overpopulation. We left our homes and are looking for happiness in the new lands. To gain a foothold in a new place, we need to increase the size of the tribe. Goal, increase the tribe to three workers. Bonus, hunting plus one. Uh, reward, one time is plus five food. Okay, so the first and only resource that we have at the moment is food. And our workers cost food per turn. We also need uh, one work, uh, one bit of food to make a brand new worker, which we cannot do at the moment, but we will be able to do pretty soon. Uh, and basically, each turn we need to deploy our workers to the board, and that will uh, basically use them up, and we get them back every turn. So, this guy will stay on this... Uh, why? I told you I didn't want the tutorial. I've done the tutorial already. I know kind of like what I'm doing. I, did I say the tutorial off? I hope I did. Anyway, um, yeah, so this guy will stay on this tile until I take him away. And that has cancelled out the negative one from consumption that we, that we did have in the past. So that's actually quite nice. That means that we're, you know, sitting at around zero food. It's nothing special, but it's not exactly, uh, it's not exactly terrible. Name of your Egyptian settlement in ancient Greek. Okay. Grand. I think that'll change as we go through. I'm not quite sure. Uh, our tribe is still at a primitive stage. It is nomadic and survives most of the hunting. We live in temporary huts. No bonuses. All right. With fur For further development, we should discover Badari culture. Now, bear in mind that we will actually uh, pretty soon have the ability to uh, to do a little bit of technological advancement. So that's quite exciting, actually. Uh, food is better over here. I could have sworn to God I, I know how to... I, I know how to do this. Don't worry. I, I, I did read. I did read, actually. We can't, unfortunately, build any settlements because we're, you know, a nomadic tribe, but that's okay. Uh, we can buy another worker, which is lovely, which gives us the freedom to do whatever the hell we actually want to do. We could dismiss the chap if we wanted to, but I don't really feel like that would be in our best interests. Anyway, um, we could do a bunch of stuff. We can scout over here, we can scout over here, we can scout over here. Uh, two turns, two turns, three turns. Should we be big and ballsy? Let's let's put you over there. Let's, let's do three turns. So that's presumably going to be the other side of the river, which means something, I guess. Let's give it a crack. Population 12 people. We're at 4920 BC. Uh, did, oh, yeah, okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, I, I swear, I've already done this tutorial, but whatever. Um, we have now unlocked production and culture. Culture is dope because that will allow us to actually make discoveries. Production is dope because it will actually allow us to make buildings, both of which will become available very, very shortly indeed um, in a matter of turns, actually. All right. Uh, attack of the Jackals. We've been approached by a pack of Jackals. They're too cowardly to attack us at first, but we'll try to steal our... Uh, what is it supposed to be? Food? I guess it's food, right? Like grain? Uh, at first glance, they seem weak. They are behaving fearlessly. Um, 
attack them? I think we attack them, right? We made it. The ravenous jackals left with nothing else. Let, let them look for their grain elsewhere. Darn right, sunshine. Get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see what's across the river. Is it anything of value? Two food. It's respectable, I guess. It's not terrible. Um, how much food do we need for some new workers? We need six food. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll have you work this tile for a couple of turns. Uh, it shouldn't take too long because we should be able to make a discovery, which will be able to complement our food income, I think. Now, we could choose any one of these three. Um, that costs 12 culture, whereas these all cost four. And it's not like you only get to pick one. You can pick all three. You can get all three as you go along. Uh, so all three from all of this nonsense. Which is fine. I guess. Um, scouting duration minus one turn. I don't think we're going to be scouting anyway, at least for a little while, so I'm not going to really bother too much with that tech. Um, maybe in a couple of turns. Um, growth culture plus, plus two every turn. That would be really, really nice. It would get us off to a good start, but I honestly don't think that that's a priority. I think food's a priority, and trying to achieve our first mission of colonization. That would be really, really nice. Tutorial discoveries. Yes, I know. It's like I've read the tutorial already. Um, all right, so that's good. We're now getting three uh, food per turn, which means we'll get our next worker in two turns. Two turns indeed. Um, eight. Oh, God, that's bloody ages. That is a long-ass time. Well, sometimes you just gotta, gotta pay the price, I'm afraid. Um, still no production yet. We do actually really want to, to get production uh, going. But hey-ho. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we did actually manage to complete that colonization achievement, which means that we now have a third worker, and we also got a one-time boost of, uh, of of five food, which is lovely. Uh, Neolithic Revolution. Discover experimental farming and build field of grain in two areas. All right. Bold bonus building, building price is minus 20% and a one-time... That's fucking huge! Ten food and 20% off building prices. Fuck me. We haven't even built anything yet. We, wow, okay. Holy shit. Um, I think we want, where did the food go from that tile? Ah, I know where it went. Because we got a plus one bonus to hunting. We had that, I guess like hunting, we're now, I guess technically farming these two tiles, right? Rather than just hunting on them. I think that's the case anyway. Because the yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that I'm correct in that in that assumption. Uh, let's plop you right over there. We need to do a little bit more scouting. And to complement your scouting nature, let's get. In fact, no. Let's just get plus two science every turn because that means that the very next turn we'll be able to get the scouting minus. And I feel that getting plus two science will aid us much much faster. Uh, the victory conditions. Fantastic. So this is really what it's all about. Uh, main goal is to create the Egyptian state in 220 turns. Try to complete missions and trials as quickly as possible. We will obviously try to do that. Uh, in case of defeat, you'll be able to continue playing. Victory conditions. Create the Hyrikonopolis chiefdom. Conquer the Omnibus. Unite 50 main river tribes of Egypt. Discover a single pantheon. Cost 45k culture. We have five culture per turn right now. 45k. Jeez Louise. Uh, build the new capital, city of Memphis. Uh, cost 9k production. <laughs> Celebrate the unification of Egypt. Cost 5k food. Okay, that is uh, that is a lot of stuff to be doing. That is a lot of stuff to be doing. That is a lot of stuff to be doing. Wow, fuck me. All right, let's get the uh, let's get the scouting bonus. And we do. Oh shit! It actually counted for uh, for that turn. That's pretty cool. Great. One time three production. Uh, experimental farming is what we need before we can actually start producing stuff. Uh, and experimental farming is actually one of our missions, so we do need to get that done ASAP. We'll have it in three turns, I think. Three turns. Uh, we're gonna need to do a little bit more scouting. I mean, obviously we could go up here, but it's gonna take three turns. I think we probably just explore the areas in which there is... You know, there is short... Scouting times? I guess we'll go over here then, yeah? Yeah, since it's got the shortest scouting times. Uh, how much do we need for another worker? We need 16 food for a new worker. That's a little bit of a ways off, actually. That's a little bit of a shame. 
Beautiful. Oh, although not beautiful. Food found eight. You know what? I will fucking take that. That is grand. Oh, good. Mermaid culture. Fantastic. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it's grand. Um, let's just go absolutely balls deep on this whole scouting business, because I think we do actually need uh, to scout our asses off, quite frankly. Uh, we're at turn 12 already and not made any crazy discoveries. Uh, experimental farming, that's going to fulfill one of our missions, I think. So let's get that done. Perfect. Discovered experimental farming allows to build field of grain. Tutorial, construction. Uh, look, I've done the fucking tutorial video game. Just let me let me go. Um, this is actually quite a cool, uh, quite a cool little system. So fuck me. There's a lot of stuff here. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, we can build. We can build this. I don't quite understand where it builds. Like it seems to build randomly. But, hey-ho, uh, that's two turns of four production. In fact, there's no fucking point in doing this because we can't actually build it yet. Um, can I get rid of this? Please? Fuck. Do you mean I have to build it? Yeah. Oh no, I don't have to build it. I'll just leave it here for a while, because we don't actually have enough production to build it. We need eight total production. Uh, split across two turns, so that's four a turn, and we have nowhere near the banked production, and we're not actually actively producing any production right now. So a little bit of a shame there. Oh, that is a gorgeous tile. That is a gorgeous tile. Ah, fantastic. Uh, the greening of the Sahara. Hunting, gathering, farming, cattle breeding, all plus one for four turns. That is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And uh, I am going to really dig that. Uh, that will actually... Oh, we found three production as well. And we found nine culture. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Uh, that should allow us to build quite comfortably... Yeah, I think this will actually be fine. We might have a little bit of a deficit for one turn, but we'll at least manage to get one turn in of production. I don't know where they build, by the way. I think it just builds randomly. Um, but here's hoping that it builds somewhere bloody useful. Uh, plus one food growth every turn, plus one production growth. In fact, if we take plus one production growth, which I am totally, totally going to do, then that will actually mean that... We sh should be fine, and we should just be able to build this over the course of two turns. That's maybe wishful thinking. Oh, yep, perfect. No, we can totally build that over the course of two turns, which is grand. Oh, new threat available. I would rather not have a new threat available. Uh, hostile tribe. Uh, probability of attack has now oh, been introduced. This is not great. I am not great. Uh, I'm not very happy about this. Uh, I'm also not great in terms of my happiness about this, but that's the same thing, just said backwards. Anyway, you're going to be building. How much do we need for another worker? 22 food? I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of food. But we'll be able to get a new discovery quite soon, which is quite nice. Oh, grand. Oh, perfect. The myth about the ancestor falcon. Many generations have passed since our tribe began to honor the falcon. Even the elders can no longer remember how it all started. Founded the tribe and was our ancestor. For culture? I'm not going to disagree with that. That's that's absolutely cracking. Uh, plus one food every turn. That's great. And that is going to ultimately help us on our route towards uh, pretty much being able to get our final worker right now. Build houses to increase the, the population limit. I think I can only build houses when I progress to uh, Bedari culture. But I don't know how I do that. Is that a discovery? Early rituals? Um, primitive... I bet No, it's primitive dwellings that will allow us to build houses. Badari culture... Badari culture is here, which will allow us plus one food growth every turn. Something that I am looking forward to, but I guess I guess the, the big one that we need to go after is the primitive dwellings, right? I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Um, 
Oh, we can actually build a field of grain too. I guess it only build like we're, we can only build one of them. Oh. Does this improve another area or does this improve the same area by two? I guess we have, you know, nothing to find, uh, nothing to lose by finding out. Uh, although we're not going to do it now because it's going to require 15 uh, production. I think it's 15 production over five production, three turns. But is it five production? Yeah, it's five production over the course of three turns. So that's actually a little bit, a little bit of a sneaky lie there because that 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 is actually fifteen production, not just five production. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste a worker uh, doing that now when we have, you know, when we have no chance of it ever happening. I think we just continue our scouting missions, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, is are we gonna actually achieve our next worker next turn? Ah, we'll be one off. That's a bit of a shame. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, tell a lie. Uh, scouts reported that our neighbors, the Toad tribe, considered us weak and gathers warriors to burn our settlements. But they can still change their mind, become friends with them, or increase the tribe to five so that they see we have a lot of workers and are dangerous. Turns before attack, nine. This is not great. This is not great at all. But we can actually get another worker right now, so let's do it. Uh, the threat is passed, minus 50% attack chance. That was remarkably easy and also remarkably disappointing. I kind of want to see exactly what would have happened if I just left it. But then again, I'm not going to do that because that's fucking stupid. Um, Greening of Sahara is about to run out, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, we can recover. Uh, I am really, really interested in building this field of grain nonsense, but alas, perhaps not quite yet. Perhaps not quite yet. Give me something good. Two food? It's not quite cutting it, I'm afraid. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not it's not great. I mean, we can yeah, it's still better for us to produce elsewhere. Uh, culture found ten. That's lovely. Greening of Sahara has ended. That's fine. Um, primitive dwellings will theoretically, I think, allow us to increase our population limits. Oh, cult menu is available. Oh, 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 oh. Spells, ritual dances, and sacrifices. Well, I do love a good sacrifice. I do love a good sacrifice. Thing is, though, do I value houses more than I like sacrifices? Nah, I fucking love sacrifices. That's right. That's right. Let's sacrifice some people. Even if it puts back our growth a little bit. I mean, we're not going to have enough... Yeah, we're not going to have enough uh, food to uh, to build another worker for a while. So I feel completely justified in in, in getting a bunch of sacrifices. Um, Neolithic revolution, discover experimental farming, and build field of grain in two areas. Uh, well, we're working on it. Slowly but surely. Uh, we need 15 production first. Um, which is a while away. Okay, so what can we do? Okay, this is weird. This is weird. Available to honor... Uh, offer sacrifices to the spirits of our ancestors. Oh, okay. How do I... I get one per turn, apparently. Hunting and fishing plus two. Gathering and farming and cattle breeding plus one. During three turns. I mean, what are we doing right now? You're hunting. You're farming. You're gathering. I think that's the case, right? So... If I was to move you, like, here, you're fishing. Oh, bloody hell. Make it difficult. Gathering, farming, hunting, and fishing plus two during two turns. I mean, it's got to be, like, gathering and farming, right? But that only gives us three production. That gives us four. And that gives us just straight-up culture. So if we wanted to optimize, we would put somebody on hunting and fishing for a wee while. Yeah. Okay, so we get the maximum amount of food possible. Not like it really matters, because we've still got stinking... You know, we still don't have stinking houses, but let's, let's do this. This is the optimal play, I think. Unless there is another way to get more... Food? I think it's this. I mean, this is hunting here as well, right? 
it's really weird how it doesn't tell you what the hell it actually is. What I mean, I guess you're supposed to just tell from the from the the thingamabobber. Tell from the image. That's what I meant. Uh, hunting and fishing, plus two during two turns. Uh, it says everywhere. Like, does, what does that mean? Is that just a global effect, or is that on every single tile? Let's do this. Let's just do it. I'm gonna stop talking and just do it. Uh, Blessing of Horus. Fantastic. So you're on plus four. You're on plus two. This is grand. This this is grand. I think this is the best. I think this is the best. Without a doubt. All right. How are we doing for production? We need 15 product. What is that? Okay. This is weird. This is a tribe. Okay. The cow tribe. All right. That's cool. Hotkeys. Also very cool, I guess. Um, is there like diplomacy or something that I can actually do? I'm click. I'm clicking it. Like, can I? Ah, maybe I need to drag you here. Ah, okay. They are friendly to us. Their warriors are weak. Um, unite. Oh, trade. They offer us three production for minus one food. That's a deal that I'm very interested in. Um, attack five turns with a success chance of ninety percent. Preparation costs minus three food every turn. Thirty-one production. In case of failure, minus two workers. I mean, 90% is not bad. 15 production. Merge pe We've got a raid, dude. We've got a raid, right? They've, we've, they, we've got a raid. We've totally got a raid. 90% success chance is pretty fucking dope. Um, and plus, we still don't have our stinking houses, so we can't get any more workers anyway. Um, I hope we don't lose. But here's hoping. Here's hoping. I also... I realize that we could be trading, but raiding is the best. And besides, we need to unite the tribe, so I'm pretty sure that this is, like, on some planet a good thing to do. We need seven honor for this next shebang. Ah, I'm sure we'll get to seven honor. Uh, seven honor? Not... Of, that's not what I mean. Uh, I'm sure we'll get to seven authority uh, in due course. But you two are going to stick around on this tile for now. And probably in the next turn, we'll uh, take you and start you continuing to scout. Because I think we're, we're in an okay position. The map is decently sized. We've got about a third of it, I would say. Um, and things are going very, very nicely. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Ode of Tato. This has been pre... No, Egypt pre-dynastic. That's the one. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.